The House is returning to action on Capitol Hill and could soon debate an aid package for Israel. Our political editor, Mark Maxwell, sat down one-on-one -on -one with Illinois Congresswoman Nikki Budzinski before she returned to D.C. Mark. Mike and Kelly, it was just about one month ago when the House dumped former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, and the world has changed a lot since then. Now, with another government funding cliff rapidly approaching in D.C., Congresswoman Budzinski met us here in studio to discuss her approach to an increasingly dangerous world. I think we need to be able to provide that support to the Israelis. They have a right to defend themselves. We want to be a good partner to them, mm -hmm. making sure they have those resources. I've also uh, voiced concern around the humanitarian crisis that's been happening in Gaza and making sure that we as a country are providing humanitarian aid to innocent Palestinians within Gaza. You talked about sending humanitarian aid to Gaza, but I didn't hear the word ceasefire. Mm -hmm. Is that a word you can use? Do, do you want to see Israel stop its military advances. Look, there will not be peace in the Middle East as long as Hamas, a terrorist organization, has embedded itself within Gaza. I think that the Israeli people have a right to defend themselves, and as they are a very strong partner of ours, the only democracy within the Middle East region, we need to have their backs. The new Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, did propose a $14.3 billion aid package to Israel, but he would mm -hmm. offset that cost to the American taxpayer by slashing $14.3 billion to the IRS. Worth it? So uh, let me tell you what I believe and I support, and I was talking a little bit about this. I think we need a more comprehensive approach. We need to be able to uh, support, I think, what the president has been advocating for, which is, yes, aid to Israel. That is critically important. But as I also mentioned, humanitarian aid is also deeply needed and something that I would be supportive of. I'd also like to see us continue to provide aid to Ukraine. The other thing that's also getting lost in this and the president has been advocating is we have a crisis at our southern border. We need to provide additional resources to secure our border as well. So I think the speaker looking at this very narrowly just within uh, what we need to be doing to provide aid to Israel, yes, is very important. But we have a lot of other issues that we need to be also getting to. And so I'm looking forward to getting back to Washington and having those discussions. They're discussing all that now. We'll bring you that full interview here on Sunday night after Sports Plus, where we ask her, knowing what you know now about this new speaker, would you still vote to eject Speaker McCarthy?